What is going on everybody? I'm Noah from TechnoBuffalo.com and this is the G Slate. There's so many terrible jokes that a suburban kid like me, who's not a kid anymore, could make about G. What up G? G Money. Yeah, no, they're just, they're failing already. It's the G Slate. It's, uh, it's one of the two new G devices coming out from T-Mobile. The other one uh, expected to be the T-Mobile G2X. They're not expected. They're, they're having a party for it. The G2X. Uh, also LG. Uh, these are T-Mobilized versions of devices that we saw launched from LG, by LG rather, at Mo World Congress uh, in Barcelona back in February. But here it is, the T-Mobile USA version, the G Slate. It's an Android 3.0 honeycomb tablet, 8.9 inch display. It will be available starting April 20th, $529.99 after a $100 rebate. Uh, with, and I'm reading this directly from the T-Mobile uh, thing here, with qualifying mobile broadband plan on a two-year agreement, voice line, and enrollment in EasyPay. There's a lot of little things after the with there. But $529.99 is the on-contract after rebate price. In the box, here's the slate. When I, uh, when I use this at Mobile World Congress, um, I actually really like the form factor, the uh, the 3D stuff. Hey, what's up, everybody? The 3D stuff, you know, I'm not so sure about. Interested to try it out again uh, now with you know a little more time to play with it. But I really enjoyed the the form factor. I think it's it's uh, you know being a little bit smaller than something like the uh, the Zoom and the Galaxy Tab 10 One, a little easier to hold one handed. And then I also like the uh, the widescreen form factor. I think it makes it easier for reading things one handed this way. And then it's uh, it's suited to um, you know HD viewing this way uh, as compared to something like the iPad which does not have a widescreen form factor. Anyway, uh, this is not a kickstand, it's just a shiny thing that says with Google. While this is booting up here, also in the box, product war uh, information and warranty guide. Underneath here, you get the 3D glasses. Awesome. How awesome is it now that gadgets come with glasses? Uh, you get the power adapter. Interesting, not uh, USB based. Um, it's a, uh, I guess, needs more power than USB can handle. So it's a uh, proprietary adapter. Uh, you get a micro USB to USB adapter. And a USB to micro USB data cable. Interesting that you get this two-way data cable. Uh, the device itself, like I said, 8.9 inch display, um, 1280 by 768, so it's capable of showing the um, 720p video uh, right here on the unit. Uh, we'll go through this little startup thing. I'll set that up later. Runs stock Android 3.0. Um, it's thin, it's lightweight, 1.3 pounds, uh, a little bit less than half an inch thick. Um, it supports T-Mobile's 4G network as well as their 3G network. Uh, you can see I've got 4G coverage here starting to kick in. You can see the accelerometer going as I flip the thing around. Um, you've got a front-facing camera. Sorry, you've got a front-facing camera, 2 megapixel front-facing camera. I want to make sure I got the specs right there. 2 megapixel front-facing camera. And then the back, the dual 5 megapixel camera setup for 3D recording, the stereoscopic setup, 5 megapixels. Uh, it'll shoot 1080p video capture. It'll also shoot 720p 3D video. So 1080p for just a straight video, 720p if you want to do the 3D video capture. And there's also a flash, LED flash. Uh, you've got the mini USB port on the bottom there. You've also got an HDMI port on the bottom as well. Uh, it'll do HDMI out up to 1080p. Um, the display is 3D capable with the glasses. So you can watch the 3D on here with the glasses. You can also uh, send your video out um, in either 2D or 3D to watch it on a separate display. These things just get crazier and crazier all the time. Uh, three and a half mil millimeter headphone jack. There's your power switch, uh, rocker switch up on top. Uh, you've got your stereo speakers, 32 gigs of internal memory. It's powered by an NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor. Um, so there you go. Let's get this thing back on here. 
And so there's some proprietary uh, apps that come with it, some T-Mobile exclusive kind of things. T-Mobile TV comes pre-installed. Uh, Need, for, Need for Speed Shift HD is not a, a proprietary T-Mobile thing, but that also comes pre-installed. Zinio Reader comes pre-installed. Uh, and then you get the Google stuff as well, and the special 3D camcorder apps. So... I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna try to keep this to uh, unboxing length and dive into a full review later on. But we'll just do a little bit of the uh, the 3D camcorder action so you can see what happens. Um, so if I record myself, well, no, let's record the glasses here. And you can see, actually, you don't have to run the, you don't have to record. You can see it, uh, it shows you the stereoscopic stereoscopic image. Um, so you've got the red and blue thing happening, and then you have to wear the glasses. I don't know how well that's translating. Uh, through me recording it, but looking on the screen here in the 3D camcorder mode, you know you can tell that uh, it's doing a 3D image. If I had glasses on right now, I do have I have extra glasses. Suddenly I have all these 3D glasses. It used to be that being a gadget reviewer, I had a lot of memory cards and cables, which I still do. But now I'm collecting 3D glasses, which is kind of nuts. Uh, so I'll have to shoot some 3D video on this and see if we can get it up to YouTube, and then uh, that way people you can watch it yourself with. 3D glasses at your place. It's going to be required now. We're going to have to make Techno Buffalo branded 3D glasses and send them out to people. Um, let's do a uh, real quick here before we go. Let's fire up T-Mobile TV. Of course, it's got to check for updates. You can see I'm wearing my 2D glasses. These don't let me see in 3D, but they let me see. So, you know, you take what you can get sometimes. But I, I like the form factor so far. I'll hold it flat so there's not so much reflection on it. Uh, it it's... Again, you know, um, lighter, lighter than an iPad and, and easier to hold one-handed, I think, because uh, of the form factor. And then also, uh, I'm a new user. Okay, I'm going to have to do this later, because I'm going to have to find out from them uh, how they want me to... How they want me to do... Oh, maybe it'll, it'll connect automatically. Um... And then smaller than, you know, like I said, something with the, uh, yeah, okay, I'm going to have to do this later. Uh, smaller than something like the 10-inch tablets, which, I, you know, it's, it's different strokes for different folks. Just like with smartphones, they're, you know, 3-inch screens, 3.5, 4, 4.3. You know, you've got the different sizes on the, uh, the tablets as well. Um, so hopefully that'll be a good thing for the marketplace. What I wanted to do, all right, we will have much, much more on the G Slate, including a full review including some 3D, 3D uh, footage uploaded to the interwebs there, if we can figure out how to do it, uh, very soon. In fact, by the time you see this, there might already be at least one other video, video for you to check out. I'm just saying, sometimes in the tech world, they send you products, there's an embargo date, and you can't publish anything before the embargo date, but you can get stuff ready to publish. So there might just be another video already ready for you to watch. There you go. I'm Noah. The website is Techno Buffalo. Like us on Facebook. Thanks to T-Mobile for lending us the G Slate to review. We'll see you later.